Hi, my name is Andy Lockdane. I'm president of Austin FC, and I'm joined today by Jonathan Emmett, who's lead designer from Gensler. We're excited to share a couple of glimpses into the stadium that I don't think we've previously shared. The first insight that I can share is that we are on schedule to deliver our stadium in spring of 2021. For many of our event attendees, the journey will begin here on the north side. And in fact, the north building, this three-story building behind us, now instead of it having a 3,000 square foot merch store, it's got a 5,000 square foot merch store. Instead of it being office on the second and third level, it now has a beer hall available to all guests. So we're walking into the beer hall. We're leaving the second level of the merch store. Now we just walk through this doorway that leads into the beer hall. The beer hall is essentially a, a public bar. All down the wall you see here, we're gonna have TVs at high top tables. This is just gonna be a really great atmosphere for that pregame activity. I love coming up here every single day to what is the third floor of the North Building. And you can see behind us, this incredible aerial view looking south, which allows you to have a view of the entire interior of the stadium. You know, it's one of those spaces you really get a sense of the intimacy of the venue as well. You really get a sense of the roof canopy coming over the field itself and how steep the stands are all around the pitch. From a technology perspective, one of the most important investments we're making is in the lighting package. So they can turn one of two million different shades of color essentially with the flick of a switch, and so they can be programmed simultaneously, all of them throughout the stadium. So one of the signature design features of the stadium is the roof canopy. It really looms out over the field and really creates a sense of intimacy for the stadium. It's also gonna provide a real intimidation factor for visiting teams. You'll see it's made out of a metal decking, which is gonna reflect the noise of the fans back down onto the pitch. So I think my favorite design aspect that we really haven't talked about is the combination of the black brick that you see at the club level in the West Club, as well as how it complements with the wood texture at the top of the press box. This is one of the elements that I think helps make our stadium unique and helps it come alive. This is one of my favorite views from midfield, looking at that black brick, and I'm envisioning what it will look like with green seats. I think it's a powerful vision. Jonathan and I are sitting in our breathable mesh seat product. This allows us to provide a much more literally cool experience for the 6,000 seats that have this seat technology inside of the stadium. So you'll really get a sense of the steepness of the seating bowl here. The upper seating bowl can levers out over the lower seats. You really feel like you're on top of the pitch, on top of the action. And that's really going to help with the intimacy and the experience for the fans. So behind us is the exterior of the East Club. And with the passage of Prop A in the election, if you look back behind, you can see that general location of where the McCalla Place station would reside. So we're now in the south end of the stadium, and importantly, the supporter section, the 3,500 seat supporter section is directly behind us. And adjacent to the supporter section is the supporter bar. So this is the fueling station for the electricity that will come alive inside of the supporter section. And what's almost lost under here is the fact that you are totally covered by the canopy. So here we are at the south end of the stadium. We're gonna have 3,500 standing room only positions for the supporters. Stands here incredibly steep, incredibly close to the pitch, and you're really gonna feel like you're on top of the action and really a part of the action. So we're on the 200 level on the west side of the stadium, which means we're at the suite level. The suites span from the north side all the way down to the south side. There's 27 different suites inside of the stadium, all with incredible views. We're marching forward at a really nice speed up here at the suite level. So here we are in the main TV broadcast booth at the top of the stadium on the west side. And again, you can see here we're at midfield with a great view of the entire stadium down onto the pitch. And they also have an incredible view of the architecture that you see just above us. Yeah, one of the things that really excites me is this is one of the locations in the building you actually get to be up inside the roof structure and really get a sense of the scale of the canopy itself. Welcome to the home team locker room. This is a pretty important part of the overall match day experience for our players. But this is one of the largest locker rooms in MLS if you sort of exclude the NFL venues that also serve as MLS venues. This locker room is a pretty good investment in player experience. And that's one of the most important distinctions that we want to make as a club. We want to be a player first, player friendly club. 
So we're walking out of the home team locker room into the player corridor. This is where the two teams will line up pre-game to take the pitch. So both teams will travel down the player corridor. They'll come through the field club itself. High touch point opportunity for the field club members. But of course the player journey makes its way through this tunnel feature. Official would grab the ball off of the plinth right about here. And the players, the officials would make their way onto the stadium. Well, Jonathan, thank you very much for leading today's tour. Gensler has done an incredible job with the stadium. I also want to thank our construction community. They have done an incredible job of allowing this project to be built safely and on time. With their work, with Gensler's design, we are officially ready for season one, episode one in spring of 2021.